right, picking up where I left off. I'm just getting this cliff put in, I'm digging out all this dirt, getting ready to put in the thermal wrap and vapor barrier. So I started digging that cliff side there. Um, and when I stood back, you can see I was way off. So it's hard to just kind of judge it based on standing there. Uh, so I set up this string line and this string line is 42 inches off the back of the tire wall. Um, so this section here will be the insulated mass and then everything on this side uh, will just be the berm. Okay, so I just trenched out that first side over here on the west side of the building. Um, I stopped because I'm at a 16 foot mark. Uh, the reason for that is those sheets of blue board insulation are four by eight. So there'll be two on their side, so it'll be 16. Um, at this point, I need to make an angle um, because of the curve of the building. So I'm not gonna curve the ditch because I'm putting straight pieces of insulation in there. So from this point, I'm going to find an angle that's good with the building and go another 16 feet so I can get another two pieces of blue board. So I'll just do that all the way around. Another thing to add, um, the depth of this trench, the reason I, I went this deep is it needs to be at or below the bottom of your bottom course of tires. So in, in order to not have any water, coming into your insulated mass or getting into your house, um, that vapor barrier needs to be lower or at the same level as the bottom course of tires. So another thing, the reason I haven't, I didn't put this insulation in any earlier, um, I was waiting until I was done with the fifth course of tires. Uh, the reason I did it at the fifth course is it's about 10 inches per course and the sheets of insulation, like I said, come in four by eight sheets. So four feet is 48 inches. So you're right about the same level as the top of the fifth course. So for double checking the, um, the right depth right here, I've just been using this four foot level, putting it on that fifth course of tires. So they're 10 inches per course, so that's 50 inches. So then I can just put the level on there, make sure it's level. And then I know that I'm deep enough. All right, making some progress on this trench. Um, so that was a 16 foot section. This one's actually only going to be an 8 foot so that I can have another angle here with another 8 foot and then it'll be 16 straight across and then same thing on that side 8, 8, and 16. Um, it is getting deeper. The property slopes from the north to the south um, so I might get the tractor and try and pull some of this away. Um, I think at the worst part I'll probably be two or three feet down so all right, so I'm moving on. I've got another little eight foot section right here. Um, as you can see, it seems like it's really far away from the tire right there. Um, the reason I'm doing that is that water line's coming out and I want the whole water line to be on the insulated mass, not outside um, at risk to freeze. All right, so it's coming to the end of the day. Uh, this is kind of as far as I, I got today. Um, I started at noon, wasn't expecting it to be this big of a project. All right, it's the next morning. Uh, I'm gonna just continue on on this back trench right here. I've got the little mini backhoe out. I'm gonna try and get the worst of it out there. Um, it's kind of hard with the culvert in the way. I can't really drive the tractor too far over, but I'm gonna get what I can. method for making sure you're at the right depth all the way along. Um, you can set up a string line. I'm just using a string level. Make sure that line is nice and level. I know this part of the trench is correct, so I can measure 
how deep it is here. So we're at 42 and a half. And over here, I'm at 40 and a half. So I know I'm two inches too high right here. So I gotta go down another two inches. All right, so it's the end of second day digging the trench. Um, I'm pretty much all finished. Uh, it probably took me maybe 10 hours of work between the two days. So yeah, I just dug around uh, that cooling tube. Um, when I go to put the blue board in, I'll cut out a notch so it'll be insulated all the way around. Um, I did not insulate the inside towards the building. Usually you would insulate around the whole tube so it doesn't act as a thermal bridge, um, but I did not do that. Um, I don't think I'm gonna dig all that up. It's nice and compact. I think I'm just gonna leave it. All right, so I'm gonna end the video here. Um, it's actually about a week after. Um, the whole insulation is all done right now, um, but I'll save that for the next video. Um, so yeah, next video will be, I was actually putting the insulation in.